Okay, before you head out the door this morning, you're probably going to grab a face mask or check the purse. Okay, there it is. Right. Yeah, if you're like my family, we have a bucket on our table by the front door is just full of masks. Great Wash, idea. put it back. It's just what you have to have now. As the pandemic has evolved, those masks have come into play for all kinds of families in all kinds of ways. All new this morning, 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan just has a reminder on which masks work best. We started off with these kind of surgical disposable masks, and then the cloth mask became really popular, but it hasn't stopped there. I want to show you some footage that a California man shared with me of a jabber mask that he designed. It uses lights to simulate how your lips move or even smile so you can see that light up. He's uh, collecting money right now to turn this prototype into production. And when you scroll through the Internet, you see clear masks with windows almost to see your lips or some that are shaped like bird beaks. The doctors at KU Health System said those beaks and lights may be just fine so long as the mask fits tightly, has multiple layers of a tightly woven cloth and covers both your nose and your mouth. The biggest thing is to understand the concept that you want that barrier from uh, your nasal passages in your mouth so that when you are breathing, laughing, yelling, uh, there is that barrier protection there against any virus that may be expressed out to the environment. And the doctors at KU shared this footage with us of them breathing with and without a mask inside a freezer so you can really see how the mask stops their breath cloud. The CDC says anyone over the age of two should wear a mask. In Kansas City, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.